there is a lot of data coming in to the robot. So you can use deep learning techniques and other neural net models that are designed to reduce all that data to a few simple labels. Once you've got those simple labels, you can now pass them into a bunch of different AI solutions that try and figure out what action to take in different ways. So you can have some AI pieces that take that incoming data and make a really snap decision about what to do. You might think of this as like a reflex system or an instinct or um, uh, you know, a fear response or something like that. And then on top of that, you can stack AI techniques that are more smart and think a little bit further into the future and do more planning. And maybe those ones can't act straight away. And then when an action has been selected, you can unroll that using these things called generative models, which take a symbol and they expand that into a complex action that could, for example, drive a robot's motors. That within 10 years, we're going to have these architectures, and they're going to capture that spark of life. They're going to enable us to build robots that seem ultra-human-like when they're in full autonomous mode. So initially, from now onwards, there'll be this tally-up phase where humans can take control of robots. And during that phase, robots will be normalized. So if you know that a human is controlling a robot, it doesn't quite seem so creepy or scary anymore. It's just like a, an advanced telepresence system. It's like one of those beam robots that rolls around, or it's like a video conference, like Skype or Zoom or something like that. So it's just a human behind the scenes. But what's going to slowly happen is that narrow AI, that those fragmented pieces of existing AI are going to come in, start taking over little parts of the control cycle, until they're almost dominating what's going on. But you can never get rid of that, that last part, that like needing that human connection. And that's where this human-like AI R&D comes in. And I believe by 2029, that will be the majority of what's going on.